You're listening to the Console Drones Gamer Talk Podcast with your hosts, Prodigy. I got another fucking three weeks to start carving my bushes into elephants and shit and make it look like Disneyland. Wow, that just got really weird. <laughs> Deuce. Running around with a pink fucking 725. I don't care if you're a girl gamer or what. Stop it. Yeah. Fucking annoying. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Demonic. Tune in next week and John will be going over his bracket with us. Fuck yeah. Fuck you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> the Joker. You guys donated all the wood. <laughs> and I'd like to see you lick it. Hey, somebody's like, who was making that rubbing noise all night? I was like, oh, it was me. <laughs> Fair, you're right, Miguel. It looks just like the Black Ranger. You're right. It does. <laughs> <laughs> Hello listeners, gamers, button mashers, teabaggers, noobs, griefers, geeks, grown-ups, and internet. Welcome back to Console Drones Gamer Talk Podcast. Talking video games right out of northern Arizona, somewhere ish in Washington. Once again, it's time for another show. This is season number three, number 234. And you're listening to a weekly podcast where we talk about everything and anything but mainly video games. I'm your host, Chris. And today, the full crew is here. All right. Now let's start the show. It's time for What You Drinking and What Have You Been Playing. Let's start off this week with John. What are you drinking and what have you been playing this week? Holy shit, it's been a while since you picked me first. I'm honored. Uh, this week, I've played uh, a few different games. I uh, turned on Assassin's Creed, Valhalla, um, played some Warzone. I actually don't know if I played any other games. Those might be the only two games I actually played. I was going to play Blackout or Black, Black Ops. I was going to play Black Ops, and then I didn't. Um, Forza? I turned it on. I didn't. No, oh, no, I did. Yeah, I know. I played it for about two minutes. I drove a mini around for about two minutes huh. to check out the graphics. Um... <laughs> Sorry, reading monkeys uh, text or uh, chat. Uh, this week I'm drinking a uh, Elijah Craig bourbon. Oh, nice. So, yeah, and uh, that's it for me this week. Cool. All right. Let's move on up to Miguel. Miguel, what are you drinking, and what have you been playing this week? I'm drinking Monster. Uh, I've played Warzone. I've played... Did I play anything else on my Xbox? I played a little bit of Halo. Um, And I got a PS5, so I played Astro's Playroom. And I played Spider-Man Miles Morales. Nice. All right. Is that it? I think that's it, yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, we're going to move right diagonally up to my right here to Joe. What are you drinking? What have you been playing this week, buddy? I am drinking Kilt... Oh, fucking screen. <laughs> Kilt Lifter. <laughs> this, I'm trying out this new uh, NVIDIA thing. That's why I've got the background. Um, yeah. As far as... <laughs> what? Monkey said Deuce looks like he has to take a shit. Oh, it's back with Miriam. <laughs> Sorry. I look like I have to take a shit, really? Yeah, that's what Monkey says. Okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> All right. If you want to take it for me? I can, you know. Anyway. Um, let's see. Uh played um, Warzone. And uh, let's see. Logged into Fallout 76 to get the freebie stuff. Uh, played Craftopia for a little bit. Uh, also played The Raft some more. And then today, uh, the, um, New World launched. So I played, I've been playing that for a few hours now. So that's been doing a lot more PC playing than uh, console playing this week. So. Nice. What about you, Chris? Uh, let's see. On my Xbox, uh, a lot of Craftopia this week. Uh, just been moving up in ages and whatnot in that. That's pretty fun. Um, let's see. Played a little bit of Warzone with some other friends. Um, 
And you don't have friends. Yeah, I do. I got a couple other Warzone friends oh. that you guys see me Cheater. gaming on. You're a cheating whore. Eh, you know, that's we're, what I do. We're not friends. <laughs> we're not friends. <laughs> you are my friends as well. Um, let's see. You never fucking play with us, Chris. You guys are on at that time. That's all. That's true. So I always I, go to bed early, John. <laughs> yeah, I get up at two a.m. So there yeah, you go. Exactly. We're just a go we're a, we're a fighting family, and Joe quit. Bye, Joe. So, <laughs> so anyways, uh, moving over to my Switch, um, I did play a little bit of Switch games. I played God Eater. It's kind of uh, similar to like uh, like a Monster Hunter, but more anime ish type stuff. Uh, more Japanese. Uh, let's see. Over on my PC, I played some of the Old West game that Joe and I are usually playing on. Uh, played a little bit of that. Um, and uh, there was one other game on the PC. Oh, some Valheim as well. Joe? Monkey asked the question, what the fuck is Craftopia? Um, we kind of covered it a couple weeks ago, but it's basically like if you were to mix... A lot of games together. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's like Breath of the Wild meets <laughs> Minecraft almost, I guess. And then there's a little bit of Pokemon aspects too. So little some Pokemon aspects, yeah. Capturing but, uh, them all. It's on Game Pass on the console, but I highly recommend playing it on the PC. Yeah. Um, because it's just better on the PC than it is on the console. I think there's more updates for it too on the PC as well. Yeah, it's easier to play. Mm-hmm. So. Oh, thanks, Monkey. I know I don't look any better, but the background was bugging the shit out of me. <laughs> I don't have my green screen yet, so once that comes in, then it'll it, be a little bit better. It'll look way better. Yeah. I'll still look like shit, but my background <laughs> will be better. So. <laughs> All right. Cool. And I am drinking the usual, the Tito's with pomegranate soda water. And that's pretty much me this week. So let's move on to the news. Joe, are you ready? Uh, yeah, let's get into the news. Deuce's Weekly News, keeping us informed and up to date in the gaming industry. Uh, sources VG247. Um, so we, we kind of talked about this last week. Uh, Nintendo kind of dropped a bomb. A bomb, and we had talked about the patent last week in the news. And sure as shit, they announced that they're doing a Sega Genesis and Nintendo 64 on uh, Nintendo Switch Online, mm-hmm. which both controllers will be available. Um, the only bad thing is it's kind of a what the fuck as well. Is that they're now going to have a premium subscription service? Um, mm. So you're going to have Nintendo Online, Nintendo Switch Online. But if you want to play the Nintendo 64 and Sega Genesis titles, you have to pay a little bit extra. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So the launch lineup will be Super Mario 64, uh, Ocarina of Time, Mario Kart 64, Star Fox 64, Sin and Punishment, Dr. Mario 64, Mario Tennis 64, Win Back, and Yoshi's Story. They're working on Banjo-Kazooie, Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon Snap. <laughs> Majora's Mask, Kirby 64, Mario Golf, Paper Mario, and F-Zero X. So for Sega, Sega, uh, they're working on Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Streets of Rage 2, Echo the Dolphin, Castlevania Bloodlines, Contra Hardcore, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. That's kind of... Hmm. Never mind. Uh, Golden Axe, Gunstar Heroes, <laughs> Musha, Fantasy Star 4... Mm. Ristar, Shining Force, Shinobi 3, and Strider. Hmm. So, yeah, but look to pay a little extra. Um, the controllers themselves will cost you 50 bucks. Hmm. What, what did you feel about the Direct? Did you watch any of the Direct? I did not watch any no. of the Direct. I just was reading the headlines. I, I pretty much checked out. There's nothing... There wasn't anything. I don't know. I, 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 th- I feel that Nintendo, they, they thought that by engineering the Switch in a certain way and then slowly, instead of releasing like games, they're like slowly releasing functions and unlocking functions of the Switch. Mm-hmm. And I think it's bullshit. At least they're not they selling should... you cardboard anymore. Well, that's this true. This is true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's very true. I like that. 
but um <laughs> but yeah it's just it's kind of like come on man i just i don't know yeah i'm kind of checked out with nintendo right now um my boys play it because that's really much that's their only system uh, yeah i'm gonna have to agree on that too man i mean once they said steam deck i'm kind of like i'm kind i'm yeah. out i'm out at this point when is the steam deck coming out again uh it's going to be within uh, Christmas time and then 2022 of next year as well, like after January. Okay. But the first console should be here in Christmas, so we'll actually hear people talking about it. So. Yeah. Uh, Battlefield 2042 beta is Great. coming October 6th. Very soon. Sweet. And it's, I believe it's an that open Wednesday? beta. So I might be taking some time off. Nice. Um <laughs> It's it's, next Wednesday. Yeah. So I've already preloaded and pre-installed Battlefield on my Series X. Uh, beginning October 5th at 11 p.m. Pacific um, or October 4th, 2 a.m. Eastern Time or 7 a.m. UK on the PC. Um, the beta itself begins and uh, PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Series X. So uh, to me, I don't, I didn't understand that. Oh, it's released on those those consoles, but there's no cross play between Xbox One and Xbox Series X. So. But yeah. Xbox One and or Xbox Series X and PS Five, right? Yes. Hmm. No PC. It's okay. Don't need the cheaters. No, nope. don't need the cheaters. Mm-mm. Marvel. I'm so glad that I I I restrained myself. Uh, I was this close to buying Marvel Avengers just for the simple fact that it was like 50% off in the Microsoft store. It was like 20 bucks. Um, but guess what? Marvel Avengers is coming to Game Pass next week. Yeah, I saw a couple of people online in a forum just saying, I literally just bought it on sale. What the fuck? Yes. Yeah. That's awesome. I, I was like, That's sick. For the Ultimate Edition with Black Panther, it was like 40 bucks. And I was like, well, Okay, but mm-hmm. I still didn't, so I'm so glad I didn't. Hell yeah. So yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Snap it to a slim gym. <laughs> Little excitement. Step to slim gym. Anyway. Um and it's also uh Marvel Avengers hosting a quad XP event from September thirtieth to October fourth. So they're trying to get everybody to if you have it, like go ahead and level up because then it's going to be on uh, actually coming to Game Pass Thursday this week. Nice. September, September oh, 30th. Boy. So I guess I'll be playing some Avengers. Cool. See how shitty it really is. Uh, Halo Infinite. Uh, the technical preview is open. It's an open preview, I guess. So um, this weekend, multiplayer tech preview, open to everything. Um, I saw Tim the Tatman was already playing, and um, yeah, mm-hmm. looks exciting. The grapple, game changer, fucking game changer. Oh yeah, it takes it. It takes it from you know like I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, um, but it just takes it from what we thought was Halo to a different level, a whole nother level. Halo Advanced Warfare. It looks yeah, like exactly like, what I was thinking. I, I was. So he I said grapple, and I'm like, I remember people complaining about that Call of Duty. It kind of looks like it'll speed up that combat or gameplay, so to speak, when you're using it. And from what I've seen, people that have been using the grapple, oh my god! Like uh, I've seen them grapple people that are on the back of a warthog. That's sick, dude. And they they grapple them, and they go to them, and then they take their place on the gun, and then they turn around and shoot them with the gun. So it's going to be interesting. It's going to be real interesting. That's wild. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. I'm not going to read this article too much, but Dying Light 2 is going to come to the Nintendo Switch. Okay. Yeah. I I mean, the first one was cool, but the first person aspect, I mean, it reminded me a lot of Mirror's Edge. Mm. Mirror's Edge meets like a zombie game. Zombies. So gonna... Eh, it was all right. Um, another game coming to the Switch is the original Knights of the Old Republic. So the original Xbox title, not the remake that Aspire is doing for PlayStation timed exclusive. 
Timed exclusive. Timed exclusive. <laughs> timed hey, Joe, exclusive. is it timed exclusive? Timed exclusive. It, it, it's I, I can't permanent emphasis. on PlayStation, right? I can't put enough emphasis on timed exclusive. Joe can't say it enough. It's timed. So all it, these, it must, all, it must all be all PlayStation stuff. exclusive. No. It must be, because no. it's timed. That's what everybody it, else is thinking. Like, oh, this is the Xbox killer. It's timed. So you got a little bit of time before it's timed you sony ponies well, Shut let me ask up. you this joe if you had a playstation <laughs> if you had one if i gave you one tomorrow for free would you buy it on the playstation for timed exclusive yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> so yeah. would that make you a pony no <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, why would it make me a pony? How would it make me a pony, John? Oh, yeah, John. You, you'd want to play it on a Sony instead of uh, waiting to play it on Xbox. Waiting your when time. You have your, when you I have mean, your your Xbox shirt, you got your Xbox hat. So fuck Sony. I've fucking for months now. I, but you're like, oh, if I have a Sony, yeah, I'll play it on Sony instead. But but I, there were key words in flip, that flip, sentence flip, 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 when he said flip, flip. free. It don't matter. No, 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 no. No, the game's not free. The console's the game's not free. free. Right, but the console is like that's the main reason why it's like I, 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 no. I was just trying to get that. If you had a PlayStation, would you buy it on PlayStation? Because you keep saying timed exclusive, timed exclusive. But if if you had a PlayStation, you would be part of that timed exclusive. Right, Maybe but I don't have a Sony pony. So, but I don't have a PlayStation. And yes, you almost, do. almost. I almost did, but I don't. <laughs> you have a PS4, John. Yes, I'm talking yes, about Joe. PlayStation 5. No, I'm, not. <laughs> I'm just saying. You can't say you don't have a PlayStation. I just... have a dust collector black console that says PS4 on it. And yeah, mine's yeah. got a lot of dust on it, too. So Yeah, I, 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 even my I, I am the, the only one here computer. who doesn't have a PlayStation. It's like... Do you have a PlayStation 2? No. We can talk sales later, John. I literally <laughs> don't have a PlayStation. Speaking of PlayStation... Uh, Resident Evil Four. Oh no, let me let me rewind that. Let me take that back. That's a different article. PlayStation Plus October games have have been released or have been leaked. Um, so we got Hell Let Loose for PS Five, Mortal Kombat X, PGA Tour Two K Twenty One for PS Four. So, time out, Miguel. Mortal Kombat X. Yeah. X. That shit's like six years old. Yeah. Welcome to the new that library. Shit, that sh- that shit might be eight years old. Yeah. Welcome to welcome to PlayStation Plus. Sony Pony Land. I mean, it's it's still better than the games that Gold now gives out. Granted, I understand Game Pass takes away all their ability to give out good games, but games of Gold is terrible now. Why does Gold even exist anymore? Yeah, it does. I don't think it does. Yeah, no, I get, think it still does. I think it's still you can, on there. If you go, you to the can store. get Gold. Well, you can get gold, but it's just that's what they said, and then people were upset. And yeah, you can still get gold, and it's <laughs> just to play online. Thank you, monkey. monkey. Thank you. Um, Crystal Dynamics is working on Xbox exclusive Perfect Dark. Is that so time exclusive? No, <laughs> that's a real exclusive. Bitch. <laughs> no, that's no. funny. Who's I that? can't emphasize right. enough. It's not a timed exclusive. No. Who's that an exclusive to? Xbox. Xbox. Box. Okay. Microsoft. I, I, I don't know if I missed you saying it. I you didn't did. know. Did I glitch out or something? No. no, no you're good. I They're just wasn't paying dark. attention. We, we're in the news. I wasn't listening. Oh, wait. Let me get to the greatest segment so I can take a nap. Anyway. There you go. <laughs> uh, Resident Evil 4 VR arrives next month on Oculus Quest 2. Chris, if you're interested. Resident Evil 4. Ooh, fuck. Okay. Ooh. That was the one that we we played on the Wii. I played it on the Wii. Didn't Miguel and I play that one? I think so. It was five. It was it five that I'd oh, we, I... So. I just you played didn't... four like a year ago. Okay, because okay. I thought somebody couldn't get past it, and then somebody else showed up with a rocket launcher and killed the boss, and was like... Well, oh, no, no that, that was definitely five, <laughs> and I had finished the game. <laughs> I had finished the game and I was telling Chris how to defeat the boss and he pulls out a rocket launcher and one hits the boss and <laughs> levels complete. It was done. It was we're like, okay. It's the fucking Leviathan. 
Oh. I was like, that's why that was so expensive. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a uh, one shot kill, and it's you only get one of them mm -hmm. at a time. Yeah. Anywho. Okay, last article is a new world already has over half a million players. Mm. And it's it launched this morning at eight o'clock. So oh. is that just on PC? Yes. It's uh oh. Amazon's Amazon Games, it's their first title. Uh it's on Steam. Um Price tag? What's that? Price tag question mark? Price tag? Um, I don't remember how much I paid. I think I paid like the, the full amount, sixty bucks. Forty? Was it sixty or forty? I don't uh, remember. Mon I'm monkey. Have have, I'm gonna have to have uh, monkey look it up real quick. But I I, I pre-ordered it like when they were first talking about it. Um, so I got to play the closed beta, and we talked about that on the podcast. But now, um, it's actually it's out. So I enjoy it. I just like the the skill trees and how. It's it levels up by based off what do you. We can get into that later. Um, congratulations to Amazon. Uh, they haven't had any server issues. They haven't had any gripes. Yes. Uh, everyone's streaming this game yes. right now. Um, all of the famous, well, not not all of the famous. Let me rephrase that. Most of the famous streamers out there are streaming New World right now. So that's the big thing right now, huh? Ooh. Um. I'm going to throw this into my what the fuck. Mm -hmm. um, but it's it was announced who was doing the um, the Mario Brothers movie and who was doing the voices. I don't believe it's a live action. I just believe it's it's animated <laughs> with updated voices. So it's not going to be the stereotypical, it's-a me, a Mario. You know, gotcha. Chris Pratt is doing the voice of Mario. Oh, that's weird. And it's the voice of Luigi... Yeah, Charlie Jack Black's doing Jack Jack Black's doing Bowser. That could be okay. Seth Rogen is doing Donkey Kong. That could be okay. Um, Luigi is Charlie Day. Those of you that don't know who Charlie Day is, he's from uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Oh, okay, gotcha. And Anna Anya Taylor Joy, who was Magic in that one X Men movie, New Mutants. New Mutants. She's going to play Princess Peach. Mm -hmm. And Keegan Michael Key is going to be Toad. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Hmm. It'll be, that's kind of interesting. I mean, I, interesting. I like Michael Key for sure. Keegan Michael Key is awesome. But yeah. how's he going to do Toad? Yeah. So, interesting. Um, yeah, that's it. But going back to Monkey found the price, it's $39.99 for the regular that and then $49.99 for like the ultimate. Which gets you more cosmetic shit. So okay, um, yeah, that's it for the news. Cool. Oh wait, there is there is some breaking news. Uh, somebody got a new console. It's yeah. me. I got a PlayStation Five. Congratulations, no. Miguel. Somebody else got a new console, but cheers. It's all right there. Look at somebody all those has, pixels. Somebody Ooh. has a BBC on their desk. A uh, big black. Console. Hey, nice. A big your your, <laughs> your C cut out. What was that, Joe? Big, big black. black. What? Big black console. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it did, it did cut Xbox out. Series X. So nice. Congrats. Congrats on yep. both of you. I do have a question for this the Sony maybe possible Sony pony if you want to call yeah. him that, Miguel. <laughs> yeah, it's <was> Joe. <laughs> and then, and then, well, Joe. Well, it could be Joe, but I, Joe, and Miguel. <clears throat> would you, would you get a tattoo saying "Sony Pony" on your body at all anywhere, Miguel? And then, Joe, would you put a tattoo of your saying "Fuck Sony," and then yet yeah. go, and then yet get a free PlayStation and buy a, uh, a, a okay, timed exclusive? Here. So everybody can see, I have a PlayStation controller <laughs> and I have an Xbox controller on my arm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. See. Where's the mouse and keyboard, Joe? That's going to go on this arm. Okay. And the Oculus controller, the Nintendo 64, all that. What about the Wii U? Would you get Nintendo what about on your body? NES yeah. controller. <laughs> <laughs> Super Nintendo controller. <laughs> oh, my God. Miguel, would you get anything uh, PlayStation related? It doesn't have to say Sony Pony exactly, but. Would you get no. a Kratos no. tattoo? No. Yeah. Of course you would. Right. I would. Yeah. That's I, I, I've, uh, there you go. I've contemplated 
Come on. It's not like I'm putting yeah, okay. a PlayStation logo on my head. No, I know. I know. That's, I'm, <laughs> I'm not saying that. I'm saying it is a Sony game, though. Exclusive. So? It's an I'm, exclusive. Not, I'm not judging you. Kratos is a badass. I'm not judging you. Yes, he's great. You're not so, You're not allowed to speak his name. You've never played one through three, and neither has Joe. Fucking fucks. Hey Miguel, Kratos, truth, Kratos, Kratos, Kratos. Go fuck the yourself. Truth. I'll say whatever. You want. And you know what? I'm the, the non-gamer, and I've played those. That's the funny part. Did, did that set you free, Joe? When you told me that? Oh my god! Like there was so much weight. <laughs> <laughs> I came out and I was like, I never played one, two, three. <laughs> I can't even remember what the conversation was, but Joe texted me. And he's like, to be honest, I never played a God of War one through three. And I was like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> nope. I YouTubed all of the cutscenes, and I was like, oh, okay, that's the story. So I haven't even done that. I at least did that. So at least Joe well, knows yeah, the see, story. But I don't. I don't want to do that because someday I will play those games. Someday, someday you yeah. Won't. When you're in your retirement home, could be sooner rather than later. I don't the know. longer you wait, the more, the worse they're gonna be to experience because they're older. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If they li- stand up to the test of time, it'll be worth it. Yeah, but not after you played the new God of War and you go back. I don't to the have old a PS Five. But you played God of War. Oh, my cousin's at PlayStation. Right. Yeah, but you but played to, go, to play that one first and then go back and play one, two, and three, I don't think you're going to uh, like them. So I shouldn't even bother then. That's that's not for, my call. If that's... you want the story, you should. If you're playing it for the gameplay, you're going to be disappointed because you've played right. the most recent one. Mm-hmm. You'll be very disappointed. <laughs> that was the reason why I watched the YouTube videos of all the cutscenes. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I'll just do that. It's like somebody playing Halo Infinite and then going, "Oh, I'm gonna go get the Master Chief Collection." They're gonna be like, "What the fuck is this?" It's so so oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's trash. <laughs> <laughs> Four and five are trash, but compared to one, two, and three, but. One, two, and three were terrible, so you're saying I'm going to hate four and five even more? I grew up, like, I played one, one two, two, and three, three when they came yeah. out. I evolved into four As and five. The story was for four and five was better. Um, mm-hmm. I just, I just, I don't know. I liked it. I like all of Halo, but. I agree. Right the, there new, the, newer ones, the newer ones were better. What? You like ODSE? It was different. It was like a side story. I actually like Halo Reach was my favorite. But I'm gonna Don't replay ha- it, Joe. It's remastered, Chris. I'm gonna have to be honest. ODST kind of made me mad because they. I felt like there was a as a like a money grab at that point in time where they were just well, like skinning over and saying it's a side story. It, it just to me it was it was three and it was just like what the fuck like this is you're handing me stuff that I've already played. It to me is what it felt in at during that time that I, we got ODST. Right now, I, I could see it was, how it's it was good. Halo, now. It was Halo 2. Was it 2? That it Then ODST of? came out because everybody was like, oh my gosh, we're, we need Halo 3. We need Halo 3. But they wasted all their time on ODST. That's and then it, it came out and everybody shat on it. That's what it was. Because they wanted Halo 3. And yeah. then Halo 3 came out like a year or two later. And You're they right. were like, fuck, we need more. I got it backwards. Yeah, it was two that was skinned off of. And we're like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, no, I mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah, that's what it was. So I don't yeah. remember anymore. It's a long time ago. It's, it's a lot of our roots, man. Damn. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm done for the news. Demonic, are you ready for the dates, buddy? Oh yeah, sure. Demonic dates. Keeping us on track with what video games are coming out soon. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, Insurgency Sandstorm. Sandstorm. PS4, Xbox One tomorrow, the 29th. Joe? Is it cross-platform? Ooh. Fuck, I hope not. We can play with Earl. Fuck, I hope not. Well, oh yeah. I mean, I think John has it too. I have it on PC. Yeah, I have it on PC. Yeah. Which one? I didn't hear. Insurgency mm-hmm. Sandstorm. No, I don't have it. I don't have it yet. Sandy Crotch. 
Hmm. <laughs> Aeon Drive PS5 for Xboxes and the Switch on the 30th. Astria Ascending, PlayStations, Xboxes, and the Switch on the 30th. Darksiders 3 to the Switch on the 30th. I feel like I said that recently. Apparently it didn't drop that day. eFootball 2022, PlayStations, Xboxes on the 30th. Hot Wheels Unleashed, John, PlayStations, Xboxes, and the Switch on the 30th. Why? Okay. Easy. So, oh, yeah. got it. Never mind. Hot I was trying to figure out why you're putting S's at the end of PlayStations and Xbox. So I don't say and PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, yeah, Xbox, I got it. One, Xbox I figured Series, it out. S, one, Xbox I figured it out. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that was rough. The last friend on the Switch on the 30th. Unsighted PS4, Xbox One, and Switch on the 30th. Moving on to October. FIFA 22. Xboxes, PlayStations is on the first. Phoenix Point, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One on the first. Alan Wake Remastered, PlayStations is Xboxes is on the fifth. Hell Let Loose, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series S and X. Is it making sense now, John? Yeah. Is it clear? No, it is. Yeah. <laughs> it was before I asked the fucking question. <laughs> then why'd you ask the fucking question? Because I interrupted you and I felt like I needed to explain why I was stuttering over here. <laughs> Jet the like Far Shore. My show. precious. Jet <laughs> the Far Shore. PlayStations is <laughs> on the fifth. <laughs> Lego Marvel Superheroes on the Switch on the fifth. Nickelodeon All Stars Brawl. PlayStation 5, Xbox Series S and X. Oh, also the other PlayStation, the other Xboxes. On the fifth. <laughs> Super Monkey Ball, Banana Mania, PlayStations is Xboxes is and Switch <laughs> on the fifth. <laughs> That's everything coming out this week. Thanks. On your consoles is <laughs> Thanks, Miguel. Thanks, dude. Uh, that's great. All right, we're going to move on to another segment of The More You Know. John, are you ready? Well, that was a lackluster intro. All right. Uh, yes, I am. Ladies and gentlemen, step right up, step right up. Come on down. It's time for The More You Know. With the Joker Drone. See what you this got. This week, on The More You Know, we're going to discuss the 10 of the world's weirdest vending machines. I like so this. originally it started okay. with Miguel telling me that uh, peanuts are, would you say, the primary ingredient in dynamite? Mm-hmm. Peanuts are the primary di- ingredient in dynamite. So I googled uh, like what weird, weird shit is made of that we wouldn't suspect and uh it was like weird foods like the weirdest foods in the world and i was like i'm not gonna go through that list because that sounds disgusting the the first one on the list was uh yeah anyway it was really gross so we're not gonna do that so that was that balu balu was on the list but that wasn't the first one on the list oh okay the first one on the list was a steaming sack from a cod oh my lord so instead, we're going with vending machines. Z- 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 z. Yeah, so instead, we're going with weird vending machines across the world. And a robot, John. <laughs> uh, is my internet shit right now? We're getting, yes. we're getting some spikes here. I mean, people eat caviar. So if you had the sack and the caviar, would you get fish in your stomach? Nah. <laughs> oh, well, some, some fish oh, brand. Trout! <laughs> <laughs> First off, the gift machine in Dubai. Gift giving is one of the holiday season's greatest joys. But we've all got that friend or family member who is impossible to buy for. Thankfully, in Dubai's village mall, the gift vending machine dispenses everything from scented candles to perfume and lingerie, all at the touch of a button. And you don't have to worry about wrapping it either because your chosen present will come in a beautiful, shiny gold gift bag. So you have no idea what you're giving him. Well, I mean, when you want, and it puts oh. the gift bag. Oh, okay. 
I was thinking of a claw machine for some reason, probably because I watched the first episode of Squid Game yesterday. All right. All right. Next up, the Artomat. The Artomat is actually a reconfigured cigarette machine, but instead of dispensing cigarettes, it dispenses pieces of art. The concept is a brainchild of North Carolina-based artist Clark Whittington, and there are now over 100 Artomats dotted throughout America. Each one is filled with miniature masterpieces created by local artists who can apply to have their work stocked by the machine. Hmm. Are they cigarette-sized art? or Apparently. Like it says That's miniature. Good. It's like a two by three canvas. They don't have a picture here. It just says miniature masterpieces. Do you know what you're getting when you're buying it, or is it just like a? I think so. I don't think it's a mystery. I think you pick it. Okay. Well, that'd be that's good. Yeah. Uh, number three, Hello Kitty vending machines in Asia. It might seem like Hello Kitty is taking over the world, or at least parts of Asia, as branded vending machines can now be found throughout the continent, from Taiwan to Malaysia. They're stocked with anything from Hello Kitty shampoo to Hello Kitty socks, toys, books, and purses. You'll never have to go without your Hello Kitty kish again. I don't know what that word is. K-I-T-S-C-H. Anybody? Kitch? Kitch. Kitch? Is that a word? I don't know that word. Anyway, like, monkey. Like your stitch? Ah, number four. Dole Banana Vending Machines in Japan. It's wonderfully easy to get your five a day in Japan, thanks to Dole's banana vending machines. These machines have been around since 2010, when the banana brand installed its first one in Tokyo in a Tokyo subway station. Your snack is guaranteed to be in a state of optimum freshness, too, because the machine keeps cool at a temperature of 13 degrees Celsius, which is 55 Fahrenheit for us freedom-speaking people. The ideal temperature for bananas, apparently. Hmm. K-I-T-S- <laughs> C-H. Was it a typo on their end? Do they mean stitch? Know. Like they're... You know, kitsch. Kish. Kitsch. Kiss. Mm. Kiss. 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 Number five, the vintage Coca-Cola dispenser in Mississippi. There may be no more dis- nostal- there may be no more nostalgic vending machine than the Coca-Cola dispenser. The Biden Harn Coca Cola Museum in Mississippi has one of the original vintage Coca Cola vending machines, which dispenses the old style glass bottle of the country's favorite drink for just five cents. Joe. I just think it would be funny if they dispensed the ice cold glass bottle and it says Echo in Mexico. Yeah, <laughs> it probably does. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's hands down the best Coke in the world. Absolutely. Real sugar. Mm -hmm. Real sugar. It's not corn syrup. Oh, my God. It's the best. But they're fucking expensive, though. They are. I don't know. McDonald's Coca-Cola is pretty delicious. No. Yes. (laughs) Bottled, fresh Mexican Coke and McDonald's Coke. I'm sorry. It's two different worlds, man. It's, yeah. It's night and day. Uh, the definition of kitsch, something that appeals to popular or lowbrow taste and is often of poor quality, a tacky or lowbrow quality or condition. Thank oh, you, monkey. So like oh. wish.com. Oh, okay. Yeah. Or John's next gamer tag. Wow. Kitsch drone. Oh. I thought you were saying that my gamer tag was tacky or oh. lowbrow. Taste. No, I'm saying your next gamer tag should be. Kiss drone, kiss. Kit. When you can go ahead and say it, you can start mocking me. Okay, <laughs> spit it out. I was gonna say his. He should said. be lumber snack. Oh, <laughs> that doesn't roll off the tongue though. The risky will be oh, snack bar. Lumber snack. Come R- on, risky will well, be bothering drone. you. Lumber all snack the time. drone. I mean, that's just too much of a mouthful. I'll change mine to bullet sponge. There you go. All right. I'll be meat shield. Sprinkles Cupcake ATM. Since Sprinkles Cupcakes opened its first Cupcakes ATM back in 2012, it has been easy for Americans to get their sugar hit at any hour. The Sprinkles Bakery ATM, found at several Sprinkles stores across the country, offers up freshly baked cupcakes in a variety of flavors, from red velvet to peanut butter chocolate, 24 hours a day. Wow, that's a fat kid's heaven right there so i think the lady one of the guest judges that used to be on food network she's the one that created sprinkles Hmm. yeah they look delicious interesting 
Thanks, Joe. What? What is my? I don't understand Monkey's question. Because hmm. I think you said bottled fresh on the vending machine for the Coke. No. There's no word fresh here. Right. What are you talking about you, Joe, when you're talking about the uh, bottled Coke from Mexico? Mexico and Mexico. What? Wait, they taste fresh. Sorry, it's not fresh because it's bottled. Bottled <laughs> fresh. Jesus, bottled fresh, fresh means like crisp, cold, fresh. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like in the, the old commercials when they go, um, ah, Joe, I know what you're saying, but Monkey's also not wrong. <laughs> I know he's, he's not wrong. He's being but extra I'm to, literal. In my context, it's like fresh tasting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Moving along. Number seven, a book vending machine in Singapore. While technological advances can be seen as a threat to our beloved paperbacks, this isn't the case in Singapore. Enter the book vending machine at the National Museum of Singapore, where technology is actually making it easier for bookworms to get their fix in the traditional way. You can get anything from children's titles to graphic novels or poetry collections. Number eight. Live crab vending machines in China and Japan. Crab is such a popular dish in China and Japan that the invention of vending machines that sell live crabs was inevitable, right? These machines first appeared in China and Japan in 2010 and have proven to be a hit since. The live crab comes with the essential accompaniments, vinegar and some ginger tea. So get ready to chow down. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Number nine, the bait bank. Admittedly, this particular machine, <laughs> shut up, Joe, is designed with a small audience in mind, but for those last minute fishing excursions, when you remembered everything but the bait, it might just save the day. Located throughout America, they are stocked with all types of fish fodder, including minnows, mealworms, and maggots. Delicious. <laughs> so. I didn't say the spank bank, Joe. I said the bait bank. <laughs> it's okay. You're good. It's very You're niche. Good. It's very niche. Yeah, it is. Yes, right. All right, number 10, the beer vending machine. Beer vending machines first appeared in Japan, and now they can be found in almost every town and city, with most Japanese beer brands having their own branded dispensers. In the early 2000s, concerns relating to underage drinking led to many of them being fitted with electronic driver's license scanners, and it appears the concerns were valid as sales from the vending machines dropped by 50%. So yeah, that is a, a list of the ten strangest vending machines across the world. Joe, can I add one? Yes. Uh, I saw it on TikTok, but it's a dull um, pineapple vending machine where it actually like cuts your pineapple for you. Well, wow, that's pretty cool. Hmm. Yeah, I saw it on TikTok. They were like some they were visiting somewhere. I don't know. It might have been Hawaii. But it you or you press the button, put your money in, and it drops down, and it slices the pineapple for you, and takes the green off of it, and the skin oh. off of it, and everything. So monkey says there are baked pizza. Wait, you there are pizza vending machines, and then he followed up with saying baked the pizza. I think it means the vending machine makes the pizza for you. Like just any old pizza, or, or you buy the pizza like, and then it you makes get to it pick for the you. toppings on the vending. Do you like? I want pepperoni. I want stuffed crust, and then it makes it for you. Yeah, how does this that work? be? Pretty amazing. Can I get one in my house? Fuck yeah, I, I was that. just gonna say. Oh that. wait, it's called the wife. Oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> Woo! It's okay. She doesn't listen. Yeah, no. Hey. Hey, we're good. That's it. This, nope. this is why Joe didn't get a PlayStation Five. Yeah, this we'll, is true. we'll explain that in the in the in the random what the fuck. <laughs> oh, sweet. All right, uh, that is it for the more you know this week. Just want to have to say, it is kind of true. It kind of sounds like machines are going to start taking all the jobs just by hearing all that stuff. They took our germs! Well, uh, as an employee of the Boeing commercial airplanes where they tried to use robots the way that like Toyota built, uses robots to build their cars, uh, Boeing trying to use robots to build airplanes, and it failed horrifically. Well, that's it good. It went terrible. So so the important so. jobs are still available. It's like pizza, hamburgers, food jobs are fucked soon. Sounds like. 
Probably. Well, I mean, I'm pretty, pretty sure we'll get drones it, to deliver our pizza. Yeah. It, I mean, the way we're going, we're going to need jobs, second jobs anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Monkey sent a link to a pizza vending machine. And on the top of it, it literally says made in Italy. <laughs> but it's a fucking vending machine that's obviously made wherever that is, which is probably it, not in Italy. Well, we got some clickbait. <laughs> dude, that doesn't look like. <coughs> well, it says made in Italy, but do you look at the language on the vending machine and it doesn't look Italian? I'm sorry, but. Is this the first time, Monkey? Did you just get catfished by a vending machine? It's in Croatia. It's not... it's... Oh, Croatia. Got catfished. Yeah, it says $5 says there's a little Croatian woman <coughs> making pizzas inside. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's great. Made in Italy in Croatia. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, well, that it says made in Italy in English, but everything oh. else on there except for the Let's Pizza part uh, is English, is uh, uh, Croatian or whatever language they speak in Croatia. Crackheads. A little strong. They, they speak crackheads? Monkey called us a crackhead. All car. All crackhead. No, I'm too fat to be a crackhead. Yeah. Sorry, monkey. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I want one of those vending machines. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's everything I know. Sweet. Thank you, John. All right, we're going to move Miguel, Miguel before we do that. Move, move ahead. Move ahead. All right, we're going to no, move, move on to our what the fucks for the week. Miguel. <laughs> Since you raise your hand, do you you have the first what the fuck? Go ahead. Thank thank you, Chris. Fuck you, John. And now it's time for our what the fucks for the week. What the fuck? So I'm playing Warzone with John last night, right? Oh, we're in the gulag. Have an LMG, oh. <laughs> a smoke grenade, and a frag grenade. I'm like, this LMG is going to be shitty. I never win when I have an LMG. Throw my smoke grenade. Throw my frag grenade. Like an idiot, I run and I run over my frag grenade and blow myself up. Fuck, you're dumb. All right, next story. John, <laughs> John no, 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 that's the end of the story. Let's move John, on. Does, John doesn't notice what happened to me. Because I was and, not in the gulag yet. I was still alive. Uh, so he doesn't know what happened to me. He goes and Miguel into the says, gulag. I'm not going to tell you what just happened to me. It's too <laughs> embarrassing. Don't get too close to the mic. So then John goes to the gulag, and I notice he has the same loadout I did, an LMG, a smoke grenade, and a frag grenade. And I'm just thinking, John's going to blow himself up with his grenade. <laughs> I don't want to say anything, though, because I don't want to... up with his grenade. I don't want to jinx it. And what does John do? He throws a grenade, runs into the middle of the map, boom. The grenade John bounces got blown into up. the middle of the map. John got blown up by his own grenade. And I'm like, yep. you know what, John? I literally just did the exact same thing with the exact same loadout. In but the he didn't gulag tell me. Did. Yeah, I didn't tell you because it was. I would have been more but... careful with my grenade if you'd have been like, "I just blew myself up with the grenade." <laughs> but you wouldn't have blown yourself up with the grenade, and it wouldn't have been this funny. <laughs> yeah. Fuck so we're no. spare parts, and we yep. both died in the gulag in the same game within a minute of each other. In the exact same way. Mm-hmm. And, yet, and that know, was the end of the night, actually. we Prior to that, we'd have been like, we're going to bed after this. Or I'm going to bed after this. Chris. And I just want to remind everybody that they have the same last name for gamer tag, so. Drone. Yeah. So if anybody witnessed that, they're like, oh, my God. But, yeah, I doubt it. Yeah. It was, it was awesome. Mm-hmm. That, that was my what the fuck. Uh, I might have more, but not at this moment. Any other what the fucks? I- I, I have a what the fuck. Um, I got a new Xbox. That's not my what the fuck. My what the fuck is I uh, transferred a bunch of games over from my external hard drive, my four terabyte Seagate external hard drive that I've mm-hmm. had for, I think it's been two years now. I've had it for two years. Mm. Uh, and it had two and a half terabytes on it. And I say had because after I transferred some games off of it onto my new Xbox, it no longer works. And now I have this brick. If when I plug it in, I can feel it like wind up to work and then it turns off. 
my my hard drive it meant a lot to me it's been with me for two years we bonded um i loaded a lot of things onto it um, and it just it couldn't handle the load anymore that's what she said <laughs> Unfortunately, it is it is now gone. It, it choked. Um, That's what she said. And gave up the ghost. Oof. That's, that's rest in peace. S- Amen. So, a couple years ago, I was looking into hard drives, John. And just a heads up, I don't know how true this is, but I did read somewhere that if your hard drive doesn't have its own power supply, that tends to be the end result of your hard drive is it gets deaded john i had a western digital external hard drive before this one that had its own power supply and i was told to get one without its own power supply oh okay (laughs) so that it would turn off when the xbox turns off Mm. that might be true i might have it backwards i might have it backwards yeah, so that's why I got one without a without a its own power supply. So it it turns off when the Xbox turns off. Got gotcha. an upgrade to that eight terabyte. It's two hundred dollars for an eight terabyte. It's also two hundred dollars for a Series X one terabyte. For right now, until they come out with a replacement, for cheaper. What? Microsoft is looking at coming out with a external or the. Um, the slot slotted card for the series X, but it's not going to be the $200 price point. It's going to be a lower price point. Because nobody's, current... buying, nobody's buying the current, the current card, which is an additional, what one terabyte, one terabyte, 220 bucks. Yeah. Holy mm-hmm. crap. Yes. Because it's compatible with the series X and you can do your quick resume and everything from that external drive. You know how currently, if you want something to be optimized, you have to transfer it yeah. from your hard drive to the console. Well, yeah. the one the one terabyte one that's two hundred twenty dollars, you don't have to do that. Oh. You can just play it. Okay. Hmm. 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 Um, that is my what the fuck okay. for this week. Any other what the fucks this week, Joe? Yep. Yep. Is it football related? No. No. Oh, hmm. Okay. Hmm. No. No, it's not. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I f- now I feel like he's lying to me. Well, I'm a contemplating, but no, it's not football related. Whatever. It's still early. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, but now you got him going uh, about football. Nope, nope, I'm done. Nope, I'm done. Nope, nope, nope. leading the division. Nope, Chris is going to get me into football. But uh, no, I went to the Best Buy release event, um, which I told Miguel about. I was like, hey, Miguel, Best Buy is going to have, you know, consoles. Yay. So he's like. He, he told me the day before the event, which. Yeah. Yeah. So he's in line. He gets his digital PlayStation 5. I'm in line. Um for something and anyway i call the wife and uh well first i asked the guys while i'm in line so okay let me rewind when miguel was in the line the line was like all the way to the end of the the shopping mall okay which is like three stores three department stores and he was in line he got his i showed up there was like five other people in front of us maybe maybe six and he walks out and he's hanging out and I asked the guy, he's like, well, do you need a console? I was like, sure. I need a, a BBC. So he gave me the paper for the BBC. <laughs> um, and then I said, is it only one console per person? And he's like, yeah, one console, you know, per person, per, you know, per transaction. Dang, per when day. he said per transaction, I went clink. I said, so I can buy my BBC and then go out and get the, you know, some, another one. You should really like, no. calling it BBC. Uh, so he said one, <laughs> that's what it is. 
he said no the system will only allow you to purchase one console per day per person that makes no sense I it's exactly I was like you're a fucking retard whatever but I'm just gonna go along with it so I get on the phone and call my financial advisor and I Has ask he? yeah my wife uh, <laughs> and I'm like okay um hey good morning because it was like early do you want to come down and maybe get a, another console what oh that's what you're doing uh yeah uh so are you gonna come down she's like do you need another console i'm like well yeah because it's a playstation but i thought you don't want a playstation (laughs) (laughs) i thought you were happy with that bbc joe Uh, yeah but i'm like but i'm here and you know i don't have to worry about it worry about it in the future i don't have to worry about you know them running out if I need it or if I you know might want one in the future. And then there's the infamous line. Can we really afford that right now? And as soon as that came out, I was like, nope, that's the no. That's a no. So mm. I was that's... like, okay, bye. Click. So yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. That was my my experience. Uh, uh, all in all, I, I do want to say that Best Buy did probably one of the best jobs with handing out uh, the new consoles. I mean, they had you know Xboxes, PlayStation Five, disc, no disc, uh, Switches, Oculus Quest Twos. They were stocked. Like it almost felt like Black Friday, but it wasn't hmm. because there was no sale. But they had everything in stock and it was all right there like right when you walked in and they you know it was just like oh this is kind of cool nice so they had all the accessories and everything so Hmm. yeah kudos to best buy for that but fuck you for only allowing me to buy one console well and the good thing about our store is i mean i guess we're not a super big city so it wasn't really packed but they had enough consoles to get for everyone including joe who showed up like an hour, hour after we started handing them out. Yeah, it was an hour. And, and they, they still, still had more. they still yeah. had a stack of papers. Because what they did was when you lined up, they asked you, Do you want a console? Yes or no, obviously, because I'm in line. And they would hand you a green one for Xbox. Um I think it was like a blue one for the PlayStation 5 with disc, and then a red one for this. I don't know what the yeah. red ones were for. It was digital. Re- digital, because that's what Miguel got. So they had those, and they were just handing them out. Here you go, here you go, here you go, here you go. And you took it in. That was your ticket in. I got the golden ticket. That was your ticket into the store and purchase it, and then you left. So, hmm. Cool. Neat. It was really easy. And, yeah, if I would have known I didn't have to be there at 7.15 to line up for tickets to be handed out at 7.30. You would have gone to work? Uh, well... Uh, works here, so and you wouldn't have got uh, P- a PS5. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Actually, your work is closer to Best Buy than your home is, so that's true. Yeah, that's true. So mm. anyway, that's that. What the fuck? Uh, let's see. Do I have another what the fuck? What the fuck? No. 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 Um, I want to see what what maybe Chris has something to say about what football. I mean, my well, own... before we go into football, okay. Chris, if you don't mind, yeah, yeah. Before we dive down that rabbit hole, mm-hmm. um, I do have another what the fuck. So, <laughs> got my PS5, played Astros Playroom. The haptic feedback on that is awesome and really fun mm-hmm. and cool. Um, so I'm expecting that to be on you know the PlayStation Five games. So I get Miles Morales because I've been wanting to play that one and have been holding off for a PS5. There's little to no functionality of the fucking controller in that game. Get like, it. yeah, you get sounds from the microphone or from the speaker in the controller, but there's no resistance on the triggers. Uh, the controller vibration that simulates, like, whatever your terrain you're on, that does work. Like, if there's sound around you or whatever, it goes with that. But no haptic feedback in the triggers. Um well, in Spider-Man, you collect stuff and, like, you know, you can look at it and look around. 
there's a function to do that with the controller where you like turn your controller to move stuff on the screen. That's not there. So Miles Morales was very minimal in using the new abilities of the controller, which I thought was stupid. Uh, Chris. I I did hear um, about that type of talk where you're talking about like the ability for this controller to do certain things for certain games. They're giving it up to the developers to actually like use the controller's right. abilities. And there's not, Which I de- get. there's not a lot of developers that are even like thinking about doing that in my opinion. But, but I get that, but it's a fucking Sony studio. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It should, they should, so, they should have thought about it. You're right. They should have used it. Mm-hmm. Especially, especially cause it was supposed to be like a launch title for PlayStation five. They should have used, the shit out of that functionality. Oh yeah. It's a PlayStation owned developer. They should have been using it. I I agree. I I kind of called this like with the Nintendo Switch because of the fact that Nintendo had those special Uber I do you guys remember that where they're talking about how cool their vibration was on their controllers when the Switch first came out and they had that that one um game or like oh you can fill the water filling up in the glass and stuff with the filling of the controllers. Do you remember that very first game that was developed that came out well anyways it was like a bunch of different gimmicky games that you played with the controller i can't remember the fucking game now but anyways they did a lot of that stuff for nintendo and they didn't do like they stopped right there they just stopped making games for it or developers didn't care about it or just never hit and never sold and i kind of feel like it's going the same direction with playstation kind of like the connect it's the same type of thing. Connect made a bunch of games, and then it just fizzled out. Like they, no one really cares about those functions, or they just saw the market and they're like, "This is not doing shit." And I kind of feel like that with the Sony controller that that's just going to go away, and they're just going to add hardware functions because they see that Xbox is being, you know, is popular in just sheer hardware and graphics. But I don't know. It just seems weird, Joe. I don't feel it's going to go away because that's the one thing that Sony has over Xbox. Well, I mean, it's yeah, it, the haptic, their controller. That's the one thing that, that they have that's better than the Xbox because of the haptic feedback. And it is kind of silly for a developer that's PlayStation exclusive to not utilize that. Mm-hmm. It's to me, it's just dumb, but I you know just to your point, Chris. I don't think I mean, I don't think they're going to get rid of it. I think if if anything, they might include it more. But we'll we'll have to wait and see because we have to wait and see for mm-hmm. Horizon. Um, we have to wait and see for God of War. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If if they don't include haptic feedback in God of War or Horizon, which is like two of their largest stapled games, then then it's like, why have it? Then it's the gimmicky but, shit that just going to disappear is what I feel like. But. Yeah, like, okay, Astro's Playroom or Playground or whatever the fuck it is, it was cool on VR. It was cool, like, when PlayStation 4 first came out. Um, but then they stopped. You know, mm-hmm. it was like, that was it. That's it. That's it. Mm. Well, I mean, to Chris's earlier point about developers using it, there are developers using it. Some of the I looked up some of the best games, and it's like Demon Souls or Dark Souls uses the functionality really well. Call of Duty uses that functionality. I heard that, but I just... So, yeah, th- that that all makes sense. And mm-hmm. I was just at a loss for why a Sony first-party studio with a game that was launching with the console didn't utilize that ability. I get that Miles Morales was like a side game that was like Spider-Man 1.5, mm-hmm. but if you're going to launch it with your new console, you should include all the functionality, all the bells and whistles. Mm -hmm. And also Phil Spencer has addressed the PlayStation controller and said, it's a good tool and we won't ignore it. We may go that route because it's such a high selling point and people love it. And it is an awesome function. Mm -hmm. It does. Like you said, Chris, you can't really explain it, but you can, you can feel what's going on in the game on the controller and it's just super cool. And if that came to PlayStation or to Xbox, Xbox. I would get that controller for sure. Um, It honestly has me thinking like, well, if a game came out with that functionality and it was on both consoles, would I want to play it on PlayStation because of the controller? Maybe. Yeah. I think, I think to my point of all of that is if the developers decide to use this on Sony PlayStation and it takes off, it'll definitely come over to Xbox and it'll take off as well. 
but I still have to see that. That's how I feel. I still have to see that because right now I still feel like it's in its gimmicky stage where it's being ignored from a lot of the de- developers. I'm not saying all of them. <laughs> from a lot of them, like the AAA Sony stuff. And maybe it, you're right. Maybe it's just a Miles Morales patch and they're focusing on not just that. They're doing other things with it later on. We're going to have to see. It just That's the way it feels like to me right now. Yeah, so I did Google it, and there are quite a few games that are mentioned as using mm-hmm. it really well. It's just not really games that I want to play. Right. I, I just think it has to grow. I think just like anything, if it grows and becomes good, then it'll be awesome. I mean, like the Quest, I, I remember said. exactly, exactly what you said. As long as it grows, then it'll be good. Right. Yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Yeah, I, I, I would <laughs> like Jeff. to see haptic feedback in the Oculus controller. That would be sick. That actually would be worth it in VR because yeah. it, it's really hard to explain. But when you can be immersed in it and feel it at the same time, that's just a bonus. That's, that's what, what she said. said. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Johnny, awake? Barely. When you say haptic feedback, I think of uh, Ready Player One in the boot suit with haptic feedback. In the, in the crotch or what? Well, it's everywhere, but, yeah. you know, she well, rubs the crop. <laughs> he said, well, it's everywhere. <laughs> so that's well, what I think. And I was like, yeah, especially in VR. Mm-hmm. Where, you, yeah, you're you're immersed and you, you get really immersed in it. Go get your Woodger vest. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Anyways, sorry, Chris, I sidetracked. I just wanted to keep talking about games before we go off on football tangents. No, it's totally cool. I mean, we did hear some whispers out there that we don't talk a lot about video games, so this is pretty jam-packed with all of that, so they can... All right, moving on to football. Video games and vending machines. (laughs) Well, yeah, I don't know about John's segment, but everything else has been video games. But vending machines actually fits with video gamers. I mean, come on. Hot pocket, anything, any anything that comes out of vending machine, a gamer is gonna like. So we're good. Oh yeah, they have panty oh. vending machines in Japan. <laughs> yeah, the one of the ones had lingerie in it. Yeah, the gift one has lingerie. Yeah, but they they also have used panty Bye. vending machines. What? I saw that. Yeah, I saw it on on the Vice Channel. It, it it's Vice Channel. Of course you saw it, Joe. I saw it. <laughs> Of course. That's what I watch. I didn't I see it on TikTok. Inappropriate shit. <laughs> Joe is definitely That's all like, my yeah. TV, my catalog is just inappropriate shit. I do all the secret codes on Netflix and it's all inappropriate shit. No, He's I saw inappropriate it on Vice, shit and ghosts. Vice channel. Yeah. Yeah. Can Ghost Adventures and inappropriate shit. Can 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 we <laughs> Can we go over Joe's dark web vending machines next week? <laughs> oh yeah. Here we go. Jesus. I don't think I'm allowed to look at that. Okay. <laughs> No, we're not looking at it. No. But well, how am I going to go over it for my segment if I don't look at it? I'm just saying. Oh, well. Actually, it's right. part since since in Japan, I think it's illegal to to gamble. Uh, what they do is they use p- uh, pachinko machines. Those mm-hmm. of you who don't know what that yep. is, it's like um, it's a almost like a pinball machine that you take a bunch of steel um, ball bearings and you pour in the top. Well, it's like it, plinko. Like they, it's kind of like Plinko, but there's more of a design to the board. Mm-hmm. And depending on what the payout is, you take those ball bearings, you go to a separate vending machine, you deposit the ball bearings into that vending machine, that gives you money, then you take the money and you go buy your dirty panties or whatever you want with it. But because it's illegal for the machine itself to pay you in cash, that's how they use it. They use that loophole to... to do other things but yeah so and, and it's a little ziploc bag that comes with a pair of used panties and a picture hmm. nice. i saw it on tv i didn't experience it very cool i swear it's like cracker jack box this <laughs> Japanese is people are perverted <laughs> oh man i mean Duh. all people look at are hentai, perverted. look at anime look at yeah everything so it's fantastic i like it, it. just means look they're at, better at drawing than we are look at jrpgs they're very creative i mean that vending machine pretty creative yes i just found a loophole That's yeah all. yeah pretty solid okay so what the fucks we just went into another spiral and tangent so we're just gonna reel it back in here we're gonna go back to our what the fucks and i guess we're just gonna jump into some football what the fucks 
So do you have what the fucks, Chris? Yeah, you it, haven't it, done any yet. No, I I really don't have any real life what the fucks okay. except for football because, and, and mine was just more of a kick six call that I didn't like. It was just that. That's what it's called, a kick six. Oh, I like that. That was funny. Wait, That's, yeah. Didn't your team score the six? Or was it the other way around? No, we kicked a. We tried to kick a sixty-eight oh. yard field goal because we had Matt Prater, and it was a yeah, dumb. It was a dumb. Still call. won. We still won, but it was a du- it was a dumb decision. It wouldn't have put us behind, in my opinion. It was a. Oh. I think we were a little too aggressive on that team than we needed to be, in my opinion. That could have gotten us in trouble. That could have turned it into that trap game. But that was my what the fuck. It was just like what What are you doing there? But so you're just saying should have mm-hmm. punted. Yeah, absolutely. You I should have lost that game, so it'd have, that would have been your trap game instead of any mm. of the games that are coming. No, out. we need those games. Those are the games that we need. Just like the Vikings game, like we would have lost that game too, just like every other year, because we had a, such a bad kicker throughout the years that we would have missed the field goal that Prater that made that he made, and then the field goal that the Vikings missed. It would we would have lost. It would have been a lost game, like we've always done. So we've written that wrong. So that's great. And then going on to the next one, we would have lost that that trap game where we fell apart and said, oh, my God, we're done. We would have just laid down, but we didn't. It's it, We're a pretty decent team right now. I'm not saying we're going to – I'm not going to go to the bandwagoners and be like, oh, we're going all the way, but I feel good about what we're doing. So I feel really good about what we're doing and where we're going. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. That's what she said. So, Miguel. Well, we're talking football right now. What the fuck? Why do the Eagles have to play the Chiefs this week? They're mad. They're not happy. Why why do we got to play the Chiefs? I'm scared. Jackie's afraid of the this guy over here. That team. the The Seahawks are pissed too, and they're gonna fuck up the Niners. I feel. I'm I'm putting money. I'm putting money on the Hawks game, and and the Chiefs just because they're they're both two angry good teams. So. That's yeah. that's those are There's good. A lot bets. of people call under I... uh, Norton's uh, firing. Oh, really? Their defensive coordinator. Hmm. Hmm. Sounds familiar. Hmm. But but yeah, Eagles play Chiefs this week. So I, I just don't think I don't think there's like a rivalry there. I don't think it's like an important. I mean, it's an important game for the Chiefs to win mm-hmm. so they can Ex- get like five hundred. Um, yeah. Well, that's what I mean. Yeah, but it's like Andy Reid's homecoming. It's going to be one of those where they're going to, you know, kind of celebrate him, and I don't know. Which is fine, but I mean, you guys just lost two straight, and you're just going to kick the shit out of us. Hmm. That but just then again, we have a shitty defense, so that just sparked another what the fuck in my mind too about football. Is Andy Reid okay? Because he went to the hospital after that game. Yeah, he's he's fine. He said he was feeling ill. Uh, they took him to the hospital after the game, and he he was released. Uh, he's actually back with the team. So, hmm. I good. blame Clyde edwards alaire I blame Patrick Mahomes. I blame Barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> that's what put him down. That's that's like one of my what the fucks. <laughs> like, I didn't never thought that at any point I was gonna say what the fuck to Patrick Mahomes. Hmm. But I don't know. It's like he needs to be brought back down to earth and humbled because, again, it, this is kind of like two-sided because I, I say what the fuck to the NFL because they say that Mahomes threw the interception when realistically that receiver popped the ball up. I hate that that rule still counts. They still report it as Patrick Mahomes threw an interception. No, the fucktard didn't catch the ball and he popped it up in the air. So that's not technically yeah, it's he not like, Patrick Mahomes inter- interception. Mm-hmm. Interception in my eyes is he throws it directly to the opposing player. Mm-hmm. I could agree with that. That's that's what I'm saying. But I hate that. Yeah. But anyway, it's just what the fuck. It's like Mahomes, the no look shit. Okay, we you're you're talented, you're skilled. Stay in the pocket, play the game, play by play, just get it done. Just get it done. That you know, there's a, and there's a few like what the fuck calls, like that pass interference call. There was no way that 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 uh, it was either Mike Williams was it Williams or 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 uh, Allen was going to catch that ball in the end zone, and they called it 
a pass interference play. The ball was so far forward from the pl- from the player, there was no way that he was going to catch that ball. And the Chiefs, the, the, you know, cornerback had hit him, and they said, oh, pass interference. It's like, fuck you. Fuck you. So, I don't know. I mean, I just have to say this about the Chiefs, though. Like, at no way that they were not like they didn't get blown out of the water on any of their games they lost. So no, no, no. they're no. they're they're right there with the competition they're doing. I just kind of think like maybe these teams have ha- they have so much film on Patrick Mahomes. They have so much stuff that they kind of got his number a little bit right now and he's got to change it up a little bit. And he's taking those extra risks on defenses that I mean with the Chargers, some of the things that I watched on that I was like, "Oh man, what are you doing taking some of those throws with against the Chargers?" I mean, that's a that's a divisional game, but it wasn't like it was blown out. It's not like he was playing horrible at all. He, the Chiefs are no. still damn good, and they're still going to yeah, go even, far. Yeah, even <clears throat> though Clyde fumbled it again, I mean, he still had a 100-yard game. He's still he a beast. still ran the ball. They ran the ball efficiently. And then I wake up, and it's like Monday morning, and they're like, oh, the Chiefs are talking about signing fucking Josh Gordon. I saw that. And it's official. Uh, Josh Gordon has signed. With the Kansas City Chiefs. So he's not with the G- uh, Seahawks? No. Nope. No. Yes. No. yes. Okay, so he cool. is now. He never he's, really, he's he barely with the even practice. played for us. I, but I don't yeah. want you guys to get any step further in your wide receiver room. That's all. He keeps shooting himself in the foot, and he's yeah. not getting anywhere. I mean, good luck to him with the Chiefs, but. I think, I like... think we should have spent the money to uh, call Richard Sherman. And I think the Chiefs mm. should have got Richard Sherman instead of him going back to Tampa Bay. It's my, in my opinion, he still got legal stuff too, Sherman. I know he does, but yeah. Tam, he's in talks with. He visited. He went visited Tampa Bay today, hmm. and I would have. I would have rather spent that money and got Richard Sherman signed with the Kansas City Chiefs and have Tyron Matthew and Richard Sherman, and you know, and have some like veteran leadership in the in in the backfield, hmm. not in the backfield, yeah, but secondary, you know, secondary. Yeah, but whatever. Hmm. It's, um, it's still early. Yeah, it's it is. Still early. It is. John, positive football. What the fuck? Justin Tucker's record-setting kick. What a kick! Six yards. Wow. Off the crossbeam. That was beautiful. So he, the previous record was sixty-four yards. He beat it by two yards. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Very impressive. Where the Ravens win. Yeah, it was. That was insane. I mean, Detroit. It just got to be devastated. Yeah. I mean, with that kind of, they've lost like close in each one of their games they played really really well they that team's got some heart i'd, I'd actually think that they're going to upset the next team they play in my opinion just because of how well they've played those teams i mean they got they played really close to the 49ers they played really close to green bay actually towards the end of green bay kind of took took the wheels off at the end there but you know uh this it's crazy detroit just that was rough man they they had them beat and then tucker just came and ruined their day it was good though Great kick. Yep. Yep. So, but any other what the fucks this week other than that? Any other football? I know, John, you guys took a tough one, but that's the Vikings were mad. It's part of it. Yeah. It's part of being a Seattle fan. I, I, I just think it's football in general, man. Any given Sunday, yeah. anybody can lose. They're all good, regardless. Even right. if, I, even if it's my, the Jets. my team still has, has one of these right here. It's true. It's true. You still can hold that over other fans' heads. This is right. Yeah. Very true. Cool. You guys got anything else? Uh, we're going to move on to our main topic. It's just more of a check-in with Joe on New World because I know he talked about the uh, demo or what was it? A closed, closed beta? beta? It was a closed beta? Yeah. Okay. So he talked about the closed beta. Was there anything new that they added or anything that you've noticed from the closed beta to now? Uh, just kind of give us a, you know, uh, what what your impressions were for this opening release. Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, knock on wood, I haven't had any server issues or I didn't have any server issues. I was put in a queue to uh, to log into the game, but that lasted all of like maybe three minutes. But um, but yeah, uh, graphics are still looking beautiful. They've cleaned up some of the the voice acting um, in the game. Um, what is it? So the game is basically uh, it's set on Earth, but it's like in 
the Bermuda Triangle almost, like in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Mm-hmm. Now, I know Bermuda Triangle is not in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, but this island is like right in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, and, and every anybody that tries to sail towards it, their ships disappear, and there's this giant crystal in the middle of the island, and it's just a lot of mystery. Um, but they've they've refined a lot of things like skill trees and 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 points and stuff like that. So they've refined and tweaked it a little bit. Uh, it's not too much different from the closed beta, mm-hmm. but I don't know. I just think they they made those minor fixes. Like um, before your skill points, so you have like strength, intelligence, um, endurance, you know, um, health, or whatever. But they've added more weapons to those branches because mm-hmm. before it was like strength was all the handheld weapons. And then intelligence was just for mages or magic. Um, but they've, they've switched that around a little bit. They've moved some of the weapons around. So that, that, that seems, hmm. you know, like they refined that a little bit. And, and, and the, the, the type of RPG it is, it's you level up based on what you do. Mm-hmm. So if you're using a sword, you're going to max out your sword skills. If you're, you know, using a two-handed axe, you're going to max out that skill. So whatever weapon you pick up and use, you're automatically getting skill points or experience for that weapon. It's the same thing with uh, anything that you do in the game. You chop down a tree or you skin an animal, you're going to get hunting and gathering XP. Mm-hmm. You cook, you're going to get cooking skills. You craft, you're going to get crafting skills. So, you know, that's how... Uh, the game is based and I like I said I I barely scratched the surface um, as far as like the different um, there's three different like factions that you can join there's magic there's like a mercenary guild and then there's like the church Mm -hmm. so it all depends on on who you choose and how you go with and how you play the game nice I, I definitely definitely want to say a big shout out to Amazon for doing this because this is like their first big endeavor mm-hmm. and if this is if this is successful so far I mean already over half a million players you know on the first day I could only imagine what the future is going to be like for Amazon so nice yeah I was really just contemplating getting it a couple minutes ago but there's a lot coming in the next month and a half. Oh. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, just Xbox alone. I mean, you got Forza, you got Battlefield, you got Halo. You know, it's Far Cry. Hey, fucking Far Cry. Mm-hmm. Fucking hey. yeah. So it's like, what am I gonna do? <laughs> I gotta burn my sick time, and I gotta burn vacation before the end of the year. I'm gonna be playing video games. <laughs> Damn right, dude. So, hell yeah. Yeah, highly recommend it. It's not cool. that expensive. Again, Monkey had told us that it's a thirty nine ninety nine game. You can buy it on Steam, or if you go through Amazon, if you have a Prime account, you get a couple extras. You get more extras. Oh, nice. You know, okay. Weapon skins. I think you, they give you like ten thousand coins. Hmm. So they start you out with some cash. That's cool. Sweet. But yeah, highly recommend it. Thank you, Joe. PC cool. only. PC only. All right, we're going to move on down to rando shit. Do you guys have any rando shit this week? Nope. No? Rando, 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 anything? Joe? I don't. Rando. Not at this moment. Rando. Nope. You th- I got more more pops and I had to rearrange my shelves again. Hmm. <laughs> so. Oh, I have the uh, Day of the Dead Joker that I ordered. Nice. Uh, got pushed back another week and a half. It was supposed to be oh, here yesterday. That's nice. Guess what, John? My glow in the dark ones all got canceled, and I think a lot of other people's did too. Really? Mm hmm. The Amazon exclusive glow in the dark day of the dead Joker? Yep. Yeah. It canceled. Huh. Why? But they don't have enough inventory or some bullshit. Huh. That sucks. But yours is the standard one, right? Yeah. So. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, Halo yesterday got put back, pushed back to October sixth. 
Yep, Amazon will do that. Over and over and over. Um, Halo Big Team Battle Test this weekend. Oh, cool. So, Joe, thank you for the code. Uh, I'm assuming that's for early access. Because mm-hmm. it sounds like it was uh, so you, open. So you, you, well, what you have to do... Yeah, that's for early access. But what you have to do is... You have to go and go into the Insiders tab or the Insiders app mm-hmm. in, the, in the Xbox. And then once you submit that code, it unlocks it. It doesn't unlock it in the store. It unlocks it in the, the Insider app. And then you can download it there. Okay. So don't yeah. input the code and then look for it in the store because it won't be there. So input the code in the store and then go to the Insider app? Okay. Because, yeah. I... Actually, it might you might try going into the insider app and see if they have uh, a code. The code. I don't remember. Okay. Yeah. I, I signed up for halo waypoint like during their first play test that I missed and I haven't gotten anything from them. I didn't get last week's technical test. I didn't get anything for this week. So I was talking to my coworker and I'm like, you said you're going to, I asked you for a code last week. If you got one, he's like, I got a code. I'll give it to my friend. I'm like, that's messed up, dude. So I texted Joe. I'm like, Joe, you got a code. Yep, because I get I get the the waypoint emails and they're like, "Congratulations, you've been selected. Here's your code, yeah. and here's our friend I didn't code." Get shit. So, voice. I didn't get Sweet. shit in my emails. Yep. It's fun, but definitely gonna try out uh, the open is this weekend. But big team battle, definitely we got to try it out. Nice. And then battlefields next week. O-M-G. Yeah, can't wait for that shit. That's going to be sick. I cannot. John, John can play Battlefield with us. Yeah. When does it come out? Well, the open, the open, uh, I believe the open beta. Is it open? I said it was. Is October 8th or 7th? 6th, I thought you said. 6th? I don't remember. Wednesday. Next week. Okay. John, if you can, pre-install it. I don't know if you can or not, but I, I, bought it because i got sick of warzone so i bought fucking battlefield <laughs> and then i i have to keep going back to my purchases and i totally forgot that i pre-ordered far cry 6 <laughs> so i'm just waiting for that to come out hmm. completely forgot john and then house of ashes fuck i need a clone mm-hmm. <laughs> i need a clone so i can send his ass to work and i can stay here and play video games John, how much Chris. have you played of your new console yet? Have Have you experienced the greatness yet, or? Uh, I played Warzone. The load times are definitely a lot faster. Graphics are a little bit better. Um, now that he's played... got it plugged into the right HDMI. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Played Valhalla. That was fun. Um, that's really all I played. You should try playing. Uh, what was it? Outriders. <laughs> oh, I had to uninstall Outriders because I needed the space on my Xbox. Because my terabyte, my four terabyte uh, hard drive died. Hmm. It's gonna be rough. You're gonna have to get one fast. Those games are gonna start get, piling up on you. Did you did you launch Warzone or something and then go back to Valhalla? Quick resume. No. You haven't tried quick resume yet. No. Try it. It's fun. Or or what you do is while you're playing Valhalla, just turn off your Xbox. Yeah. Okay. And then when you turn it back on, it pops you right back in. Yeah, you're like whoa. Provided you don't, provided you don't back out to the main screen when you're done playing, right? Yeah, like some weird person. I don't do that. I wasn't saying anyone. Oh. I was just saying in general, like, like a, okay, I have to go to the home screen and, and then, then turn, turn it off. off. Xbox. Oh, like some like weirdo Xbox out there. I get you, Miguel. Console off. Yeah. Some weird. I know there's one out there that does that. Matter of fact, it's if me. you are, it's, go ahead and me. email. I'm just kidding. It's me. I'm the guy that does that. When I close Warzone, I hit start. I go to the, I hit the Xbox button. I go to Warzone. I hit start, and I go quit. And then it goes, takes me to the home screen, and I turn my do Xbox you, off. Do you do that for Valhalla, too? I do it for every game. God, Ooh. yeah, you are that guy. He just called out that, the weirdo. That, yeah, on our that, show. Nope. That quick resume isn't going to work if you do that. Yeah, you'll never I haven't needed it. a quick resume. I haven't needed to. Now you do. Now you get a chance. Now you, to. Really now you really, can. I can, but, but I have not needed to yet. You have the, I played Valhalla for like 20 minutes, and then I was like, right, I don't want to play Valhalla. You never need to quick resume. 
It's and you an can't quick resume function. in Warzone. Man. No, you can't because it makes you go search for the fucking. So fetch I shit. played Valhalla and I played Warzone. Yeah, so you leave Valhalla and don't close it. Go play Warzone and then launch Valhalla again. I didn't want to go play Valhalla again. I played what I wanted to play and I turned it off. And I've only don't played Warzone since then, so I have not had the opportunity. Game. I have not had the opportunity. Well, if you had. If you hadn't closed your Valhalla game, you Idiot. could turn on your Xbox right now, <laughs> click Valhalla, and you would be standing right where you were. Yes. Same exact spot. Everything's the same. Same, same, same. No load time. I, I believe don't... you. I don't want to go play Valhalla. That's besides the point. You're supposed to enjoy the impressiveness that. of quick Chad. resume. It's okay. So... Uh, I just wanted to clarify that the open uh, beta for Halo Infinite is for Xbox Insiders. So you have to be enrolled into Xbox Insiders in order to get the invite. This Done. Weekend. Yeah, I'm so an if insider. You if you haven't yet, apply or sign up for the Insiders. Uh, I believe you just search Xbox Insiders app on the store. It'll pop up. You sign up. You sign in, and then you'll get the emails. So Yes, and you have to redo it, because I had to redo it when I got my new console. Mm. So, Yeah, because I know on the Xbox One, they had, uh, what was it, the insiders where you either chose the software insider or the hardware insider. Mm. Hmm. I don't yes. remember that. Yeah, because they had it to where you could either sign up for like getting insider shit on the console. So like new apps, new abilities, new things to do in the console, mm -hmm. or you signed up for new games. Hmm. But oh. it's not like that. Anymore. So, okay. So software or software. When you said hardware, I was thinking like controller insider. Clarification. Yeah, the, insider. the software UI? console software or game software. There. Yeah, they're like the, the UI or games. Yeah. 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 Which I, I remember I chose UI at this point, so I don't. It's fine. I'll play the game when it comes out. No, but that I was the old way. Chris, That's the old way? Sign up for it now. So I have to do that. I, I have to redo it then? Do redo it and then it'll pop yeah. back up. Damn it. All right. And there's a new Insider Hub. All right. Fun. Cool. You guys got any other random shit before we shut it down? Chris, are you buying Halo? Yeah, absolutely. All day long. Uh, sorry, not Halo. Halo's free. Battlefield. All day long. Okay, cool. I won't buy Battlefield. I, I'll, I'll go pre-order right now because I've, I've been Sweet. needing to. You so, gotta buy... Yeah. So if, he, I'm if he's the big gonna one. get Battlefield, are you getting Far Cry or... Yeah, do mm -hmm. Far Cry. That way yeah. I can play it. Because yeah, I'm cause definitely play, down to play the... Boss. Yes, that's why I want to play it. I, I don't care about any other... Once they said that, I'm like, oh, I'm back to playing Far Cry again. Because uh, I didn't care about anything else after that. <laughs> so, I'm like, fuck Do yeah. You know oh. the definition of insanity? Yep. John? We did a download, re-download uh, Far Cry 3. Mm-hmm. 3? Three? 3. That's the one. The one's of Oz, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, because I never finished it. I got to finish it. It's, it's good. Yeah. I mean, you don't you don't have to finish it. Like the Witcher, um, that will probably never happen, Joe. Oh my god! Yeah, I'll I'll beat it before. There's it does. two like like I get bored with it or annoyed with it, and I walk away, and then I have to if I go back, I have to learn the whole fucking thing again. That is oh. the only downside to Witcher is learning how to play it again, Joe. That would be the shit if Microsoft decided to buy CD Projekt Project Red. Oh, and the Geralt would be an Xbox exclusive. Oh, hell yeah! Sorry. <laughs> Xbox, <It just> popped... <laughs> Xbox forcing CD Projekt Red to make more Witcher games after they said they're not making any more based off Geralt. Yeah, they're like, oh, the fuck you're not. <laughs> not with our money. Yep. You guys got any other random, 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 random? No? They they might be up for sale after mm -hmm. that whole debacle with uh, Cyberpunk. Yeah, could be. Yeah, because their yeah. sales are like. Beep. Yeah, we're we supposed to be getting an update soon. 
for that shit for our new consoles. Oh, to make it wet? <laughs> to make it to make it awesome again? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it was supposed to come in 2021, and I haven't heard anything yet. I haven't heard shit. Yeah, we still got what, like, two months? How many days? Monkey, how many days till Christmas? <laughs> He's gone. For fuck's sake. <clears throat> what? Oh, shit. Any other, any other, anything else? 95 days until 2022. They got 95 days for a fight. They're not doing it. That shit ain't happening. Merry Christmas, bitches. No. We just bought CD Projekt Red and expect Witcher 4 Xbox exclusive. And expect an uh, update for Cyberpunk. <laughs> if that happens. I mean, fuck Cyberpunk. I, I think if they had another Witcher game, they would start from scratch and start retelling the story with the newest version, how they did like... They did 3 because it was so different from 1 and 2. And right. just start yes. from scratch. I mean, they could start 4 out with Geralt dying or sacrificing himself so that Siri lives and then it's then that's how you continue the series as you're playing as Cirilla through Witcher 4 and 5 and then yeah yeah it's it's funny speaking of the Witcher 2 because I played Witcher 1 and 2 and I was like these games suck they're not that great they weren't that good (laughs) and then I played and then I stopped that's why I didn't play 3 and then 3 is a fucking masterpiece and I go back I'm like wow it's a totally different fucking game than what I played yeah I tried playing two it's before awful. three came out, and it was rough. It's bad. Yeah. Um, it, I mean, three's mechanics are definitely still not the best. They're still pretty clunky, but it's mm-hmm. a way better game. Especially it's way more. smoother. Yeah, it's way smoother. Did you guys see there's a Geralt on Roach Funko Pop coming? No. <laughs> GameStop like exclusive. Is he, like, standing on top of it? <laughs> that would like be funny. Roach stuck on a fence or something like that? John. Geralt's on one side, the fence, and then Roach is on the other side. He's like, come on. It's like a glitch. That's still one of the best videos. You mean, like, go around the fence? I can't go around the fence. John. Um, if uh, if I get this job, I'll probably get a Steam Deck and do uh, Witcher 3 on the Steam Deck while I'm trying. Yeah, there you I go. You. Yeah, hey, we'll see. You'll do it, John. That'll be dangerous because if you get frustrated with Roach, you're going to want to throw the Steam Deck and you're like, good, good, fucking horse. I don't so. throw stuff. And yeah, don't do that. Not yet. I don't. No, no, not yet. No. Roach is a different story there, bud. He's better than he was at launch, though. They fixed yeah. him. They fixed him. No, they didn't fix him. They no. made him better. There's a difference. Okay, not fully fixed, but they've made him better. You're right. That is a better term for that. Yes. There's no fixing that stupid fucking horse. He's retarded, but hey, he's a retard. Okay. What can he do? You guys got any other rando this week? Nope. Nope. Okay. It's going to wrap up another good episode. This is Chris. I'm going to go play some video games. I'm out. Peace. There's John. I'm going to go to bed. I'm out. Peace. This is Miguel. I'm going to go ship Funko. Well, I'm going to go box up Funko Pops to ship. I'm out. Peace. I'm going to go eat and play some New World. Game on. Game on. Game on. Game on. This concludes another Cultural Drones Gamer Talk podcast. Season 3, Biatch. Now let's get out of here and destroy this whole universe. I didn't know you. I didn't want you.